What's up guys? I'm Marcus and today we're going to teach you guys how to stack and handle your dogs. Now just remember that Grand Champion Dosa Vita here is pregnant so cut her some slack and I'm going to do this all in one take so cut me some slack as well. All right so first thing you guys need to do before you start to get your female or your male excuse me um, you want to make sure the collar is on correctly. Now, if you have the collar on and the ring is upside down like this, you, I don't know if you can see that, when you go to correct, it's, they're not going to feel anything. So you always want to make, make sure this ring or your collar is on correctly, okay? Second thing is you want to make sure this ring is on, right underneath the ear, okay? And the reason for that is when you give a correction in the ring, when you go to correct, you want the head to be pulled up and not down, okay? If, if it's back here, you're gonna correct, you can hear it, right? You can hear it that it's, it's, not, it's not gonna correct very well or it's not gonna work very well. So that's the first thing, okay? Always make sure the, the ring is right underneath the ear before you start to gate. Now, in the ring, in the ring, the judge is gonna ask you to do a, to do a number of things. Um, he's going to ask you to do an up and back. He's going to ask you to do a, you know, a gate all the way around so he can check out your dog's uh, movement. Okay. Now there's a couple key points here you want to remember. And one is when you're gating, you never want to look down at your dog. Because I, I, see, I see it all the time, there are mistakes. If, people, if you're looking at your dog while you're gating and your dog is looking up at you, your dog's not going to be able to show its natural gate. So you're actually doing yourself a, a disservice by doing that, okay? So let's show you guys what we're talking about. Come, come on, we're gonna fix here. We'll go, ready? You ready? Come, let's go. Good girl. Come, let's go. Wait. Now, just remember that when you come back from the up and back, you're gonna wanna do a free stack. And you can see, hopefully it's on the camera, you can see that she free stacks pretty well. Okay, so now after the up and back, we do the gate. Keep, now before we do this, remind yourselves, one, you need to fix the collar. Two, get her back around. Ready? Now it's very small in here, so don't expect, I don't expect you guys to get too much from that. But, then, but the more important thing is you get the dog into its natural gait, not letting them trot, um, and, and, and make sure it's natural so you can show the judge that your dog has everything and has the mechanics, all right? Okay, now we're going to show you guys how to stack. Now depending on where the judge is at is going to depend on how you're going to stack your dog. If the judge is in front of you guys, well, typically they are, when you start to stack your dog, you're going to have to be more, more concerned about the front end than the back end, right? Now, yes, you want to get a good stack going. So first start off by pulling any extra skin tight to the neck, okay? Second thing, you want to fix the front feet first. Now, you see, you can do this all at one time or you can do it one by one. Typically, dogs like to shift their weight when you're doing it, but either way, whatever works for your dog, okay? There and there. Now, obviously, you want to go a little bit faster than that, but this is a front stack, or, you know, a stack, essentially. Um, you can see that her feet on her legs are directly under her shoulder, okay? A lot of times, people will overstack them to try to give them a wider chest, and that's actually a bad look, okay? So don't, make sure it's not too close, all right? You can see that. And make sure it's not too far where it looks unnatural, okay? Right underneath the shoulders. Now, I don't suggest you guys let go of your lead now, when you're adjusting your dog. Depending on who your dog, obviously, but right? So first thing you do, you pull it tight and you always keep one hand on the lead when you're adjusting. This will keep the dog under control. 
the whole time while you're, you're stacking your dog. Okay? Let's try it from the side. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, mama. Come on, mama. Come on, mama. Great. Good job. Okay, here we go. So, side view. First, I like to grab both, both front feet right underneath the shoulder blade. Okay? You hold the, hold the collar tight. You load the hop. Now, it's imperative that you don't pull this. It's imperative that you don't pull the ass end of this dog up or any dog up because it gives a real ugly top line, okay? Don't ever pull up. Now, Vita has one of the top, one of the best top lines, I think. Even if I pull her rear end up, it's gonna look bad, okay? So here, pull and boom, we're there. Now, I mean, I know she looks pregnant, but you can see the structure, okay? I think, I think this way, there you go. All right, so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not perfect, right? No, no dog is perfect, but a couple key points, keep control of your dog, Make sure the front legs are loaded right underneath the shoulders. Make sure you load the hawks when you stack her or him, okay? And that's how it should look. All right, so now we're gonna put this all together, okay? And I'll kind of just run you through it as, a, you know, as, we're, as we're going, all right? All right, so first we get into the ring, we stack our dog up, okay? We're waiting. Now, I mean, obviously while you're in line, you're waiting, you don't want to really hold a tight stack. You don't want to get her tired before you actually get checked out. You want to pretty much stack your dog up, okay? Now, as a judge is going over your dog, you check the teeth, he checks the neck. As he, go, as he goes to the rear, I'm pulling her down, okay? Showing her nice curvature of her neck or as much as possible, all right? Now, once he's done there, once he's done, he's checking all this, he's putting his hands on her, he's gonna ask me to do an up and back. I'm gonna fix my collar. Tell her, good job, good job, come on. Let's go, Vita, let's go, Vita, ready? You ready, come. Good girl, come. Wait. Now it's imperative that when he, when you, when asked to go up and back, you go straight up and straight back to the judge, okay? After he checks her out, he's gonna ask you to do the round. Good girl, good girl, come, let's go. Come on, mama, let's go, mama. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good, good girl, come on. Good job, now when you come back, obviously you're gonna get in line. And uh, as you're waiting for the other dogs, you know, you're keeping her in a natural stack. Keeping your dog in a natural stack, okay? Now, when it's time and everybody's gotten checked out, it's time to actually stack your dog. That's when you're gonna grab your dog. Good girl. Wait. Stay. And you're gonna hit a stack. Good girl, wait. And then you wait. You see who's the best. And that's it, guys. Anyways, that's the end of our video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below and make sure you guys follow my IG, go to my podcast. And check us out on our website at thebullco.com. You guys have a good day.